Welcome back to the Pulse of Peter B. Peter Bianca Mano, back in the host chair, but still here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in the beautiful city of Hoboken, New Jersey. And this is our monthly segment focusing on all the wonderful things the Hoboken District Schools are doing. And speaking of wonderful, it is the person next to me, and he is one of the advisors, a co-advisor of the debate program, Mr. Steve D. Bernardo. It's a pleasure having you on the show. Good, Good to be here. Good to be and, here. And anytime it's an Italian name, I have to do it. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. D. Bernardo. D. Bernardo. Before we get into some questions regarding the program specifically, how long have you been with the district and how long has the program been in uh, the high school? I've been with the district for about 18 years now, almost 20 years. The program has been here before me, predates me. Mm. Um, the program uh, started off originally a small program. And rightly so, because of the intensity of what is required to be a part of the program. So um, you would have to do some research on a topic, a current event topic, and then you would have to perfect a strategy in order to convince an audience. So it's all about like arguments for academic achievement, wow. right? And you would go up to a student, try to recruit him and say, hey, listen, do you want to talk about this current event? And then we'll go and kind of have a little debate in the classroom. And they'll say, sure. And it's like, okay, well, now we're going to travel to another state or another country. You're going to get up in front of 200 people. Now you're going to convince me your ideas. And they would say, well, yeah, that's not happening. I, that's <laughs> way too scary. So fear initially played a big role in this. But over time, something that Mr. Huggins and I, my co-advisor, um, we we'll like be to joining say, us shortly, by the right, way. <laughs> over time, we started to reshape the program to create transformative experiences for the students. And with that program that we built, the debate program began to grow that almost is, exponentially. Speaking of growing, how many students, I guess, from the start of your time here as being a co-advisor of the right. debate program to now, has the, how many students have increased as members of the debate program? When we took over the program, there are about eight to ten students involved wow, that's in the it. program. Wow. They were very academic-minded students, terrified to speak in public, as most people are. It's very common. And what we realized was we needed to create a family atmosphere, a culture, a tribe, if you will, of people who were like-minded, who bonded together. And we called it shared suffering. We would go and do all kinds of activities and team-building activities, and we'd grow closer together. We would earn their trust. Um, they would earn our trust and then we would take them on these trips in which they'd wake up at seven o'clock in the morning and they would put a suit on, they would go get breakfast, walk along the financial district of the city as if they were successful adults and feel that, go and eat breakfast from another culture they've never had before and then go debate for four hours, stand up in front of a hundred people, 200 people, convince them of ideas. Then they would have lunch by themselves in these groups, feeling like a successful adult. We would take them to dinner to some place to try food they've never had before. Then we'd go the next day and climb a mountain, ride bikes across a bridge, <laughs> and just these unbelievable activities. And they would do this after seven days of these activities. They would remark to Mr. Huggins and I, like, I feel like a completely different person after going through this experience. And we say, well, that's the transformative experience. So over time, more students started to come for that experience. They would bring their friends and more students would come. And we started with eight to, eight to 10 to 12. We have about 140 students involved in this program now, yeah. Wow. I can't even do the math. That's how high, uh, that's how much it's increased. Well, we are going to have your co-advisor, uh, Mr. Huggins, come on in just a few short seconds. So I want to thank you for your time. Absolutely. And congratulations on the expansion of this program. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing what new heights that you guys are going to achieve in the next few We're years. We're constantly climbing and reaching. Uh, climbing and Look, he's getting me motivated. Folks. <laughs> and I haven't debated in a very long time. Thank goodness for that. Mr. DiBernardo, thank you so thank much you so again. Thank you so much. The Absolutely. The co-advisor here of the debate program at Hoboken High School. Don't go anywhere. We're going to give some testimonials from your students in the debate program. So you're not going to want to miss that, folks. And thank you again for coming on. Back here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in the beautiful city of Hoboken, New Jersey. And we are going to feature some of the students of the debate program. They want to take over my job as host of this show. And I say, please do so. Because if you have to work with Josh Sotomayor Einstein, it's always a negative experience. Anyway, and we are here today with... Amalia. Amalia, tell me your last name. 
Amalia Valle. Oh, by, ooh, I like that. It's like <laughs> Bianca Camano. Anyway, um, talk to me about what year you're in and how long you've been with the debate program. Yeah, I'm a junior here at Hoboken High School, and I've been with the debate program since freshman year. Very, very cool. That's three years. See, simple yep. arithmetic. Anyway, <laughs> um, um, Amalia, you said? Yes. Amalia. Beautiful name again. Thank you. Um, talk to me about uh, how the program has helped you inside and outside of the high school. Well, the program has like definitely with like leadership skills. It's taught me a lot of that, which I learned in model Congress competitions and also with my public speaking, which has helped me both in class when I'm trying to articulate my thoughts and then out of school when I'm starting outside of school initiatives and other things like that. Very, very cool. Well, good luck going forward. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Still here at Hoboken High School, located at 800 Clinton Street in Hoboken. And we're joined by another fabulous member of the debate program here at the high school. Tell me your name and your year. My name is Kendall McDonough. I am a senior here at Hoboken High School, and I have been involved in the debate program all of my four years of high school. Wow, a veteran here. I absolutely <laughs> love it. That's uh, that's insane. So I'm going to ask you a little bit of a different question. You know, I'm putting you guys, you know, uh, on a spot here underneath the wings <laughs> here. And that is, how have you how have you witnessed the program evolve in your four years? It has been like an exponential growth of the debate program since starting freshman year. Um, my freshman year only had, I think, like at least like under 20 kids, under 20 freshmen join. And then it slowly like decreased over time with like involvement and stuff and just like finding where you fit at in high school. But um, now my senior year, we had like 80 freshmen at the interest meeting, um, which is basically like half the freshman class here at Hoboken High School. And so it was just like so amazing to see so many young minds so interested in debate and um, just made me really proud to be a part of this club here and its impact overall. Excellent. And congratulations on your graduate, your Thank pending you. graduation coming yes. up. Thank you. And best of luck in your secondary education. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Still here featuring the wonderful Hoboken High students of the debate program. And we're joined today or right now with my name is Genevieve Fink, and I'm currently a junior at Hoboken High School, and I've been a part of the program since my freshman year. Well, that is awesome, Genevieve, and thank you for coming on and talking to us about it today. And what have you learned that can help you in the outside world from the debate program? I mean, coming in freshman year, I've definitely grown as a person because of this program. I've always known that I've wanted to do something in more politics, law, and through this I've been able to kind of discover what my true passions are as well as work on my communication and public speaking because when you're in a room with 50 other delegates from other schools who you've never met before, you really learn how to communicate efficiently and effectively. Well congratulations, that's Thank awesome you. and best of luck going forward, Genevieve. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll be back with more. All right, as promised, we have the co-advisor, the other co-advisor of the debate program here at Hoboken High School, and that is Mr. Paul Huggins. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on the program. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Absolutely. And I know you've been patiently waiting, and we appreciate it. So just to follow up on what Mr. D. Bar uh, Bernardo said, excuse me, um, what type of uh, competitions has the debate program participated in and the awards they've won? Well, uh, when we first started, we had really just one type of competition. We did a uh, um, Harvard Model Congress, which is a uh, simulation of, of our Congress, our U.S. Congress. And uh, since then, it's grown. We've, uh, we do Model UN, uh, various Model UNs around. And we also have taken on Mock Trial, which really um, has really been a big part of the program. Um, That's awesome. But we are always looking for different uh, conferences as we go forward. Um, Years ago, we also did a uh, mock freeholder. And so we tried to get to more local issues and have students come up from different perspectives as members of the audience and as freeholders. But um, we, those are the main things. We do uh, simulated government in its various forms and mock trial. Well, anybody can give County Commissioner Anthony Romano a run for his money, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you're, I'm just getting <laughs> thick. We love you. Um, and talk to me about some of the places you travel to. Obviously, uh, I believe Harvard Model Congress is in San Francisco, yep. if yep. I'm not uh, mistaken. So, yes. I mean, your students are really getting, you know, to see the, the, the greater United States just by participating in this program. Yes, uh, we. Uh, that was the traditional trip that we took uh, to San Francisco, and students really enjoyed that, and they got out of their, uh, you know, comfort zone and went to someplace really different and experienced working with students from around the world at the time. And then some a couple of years ago, we were 
said, you know, we're looking at cost and price and everything. And we're like, you know what? They have a, a HMC Madrid. Wow. And we took them to Madrid and it was amazing. And they did an amazing job. And it really, I know Mr. D talked about transformative experiences. Uh, it really was, and all these ships are transformative, but uh, they, it was like the Super Bowl of model um, Congress. So it was really great. And we took them back again uh, after COVID. So we got kind of canceled and disappointed. But we also traveled to uh, DC last year. We went to Washington, DC on a Princeton um, Model Congress. And we've done uh, Philadelphia just recently uh, with a uh, Model Congress for Rutgers. And so we we try to like mix it up and get them all over the place to kind of experience new things. So, that is so yeah. cool. Yeah. And and uh, Mr. D, as they say, yeah. as you said. Mr. D. Bernard. I can, I can, I can call him that, I guess, now. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. boys now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he really, really discussed how the program has expanded. Yes. So what do you think the benefit is for having a debate program here at Hoboken High School? For the students, that is. Well, I, I'll hold off on the academic benefit because mm -hmm. there's a lot to that. But I know that a lot of students come here, especially as freshmen, and they're kind of, you know, either coming into the district or they're coming into high school and they're they're looking for a place. And we have always envisioned, and I remember writing a letter about a room, wanting a room uh, years ago, and talking about having a home for the students. And like they come here and they have this home and they have the support of older students. And really it becomes a place where it's cool to work hard on, on school and it's cool to be part of something that's bigger than yourself. And then you kind of get supported by everyone and they find a family, a, a network here. And it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah very, very the, cool. the academic is yeah. obvious. I teach language composition and research and uh, Mr. D is a history teacher. And those two things complement each other. So they're getting politics and history, they're getting current events, but they're really also developing their um, ability to form and create a really strong line of reasoning and be uh, make strategic rhetorical choices and they're practicing that over and over again and, and that's really everything you know uh, making a good argument and communicating that is wonderful well mr paul huggins co-advisor here of the debate program at hoboken high school thank you so much congratulations on where the program has come we'll be back with more as we continue featuring the wonderful students of hoboken high school debate program um we are now joined by Hi, my name is Kobe Kriegel. I'm a junior at Hoboken High School and I've been in the debate program since freshman year, so that would be three years. Three years, all right. And how have you seen it evolved in your three years that you've been part of the program? Um, I think the evolution of the debate program at Hoboken High School has been astounding. I mean, when I joined the debate program three years ago, it was very personal. Uh, I'd say the student to teacher ratio was probably 20 to one. And with only two advisors, there just weren't that many people in the program. But here coming in this year, there were 150 people at least that were interested in the program. And I think the growth of the program has been so high. We've had to knock down walls uh, in, in rooms to give more space to them. So I definitely think the growth of the program has been huge. Well, we love knocking down walls for success, right? And I wish you the best of luck going forward. I really, really do. Thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks, we'll be back with more. Still here at Hoboken High School featuring the debate program students, and we are joined by... Uh, Zoe Magaletta. I'm a junior at Hoboken High School, and I've been in the debate, the debate program since freshman year. So that's almost three years. Almost three years. Well, and yeah, so good. Sorry, Continue. about three years. About three years. You know what? You know, it's simple arithmetic. Yeah. So it'll be three years very, very soon. Uh, what is your favorite component about being in a debate program for this long? Oh, wow. Um, one of my favorite components is that I've been able to meet so many people to discuss issues that plague the world. For example, uh, last year when I was a sophomore, we actually went to Mad Madrid, Spain for a Model Congress competition. And in that role, I was able to meet people from Europe and Asia to discuss pressing issues of the world, ranging from challenges, um, like um, foreign development challenges, as well as challenges facing the U.S. domestically. So I really like hearing all the perspectives and being able to voice my opinions on such a, an international scale. That is fantastic. And best of luck so uh, as you finish off your junior year and in your senior year. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Of course. All right, folks, join us next week for The Pulse on everything you need to know. I'm Peter Biancomano. I hope you have a great week, everybody.